pregnant. Yeah. Are you sure? Really? I, I saw a doctor. Conchetta says yes. <laughs> this is terrific. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. I'm going to be a father. And you can react like this. Of course I would. I'm the happiest man. Look. How did this happen? I think you know how it happened. Yes, of course I know, but I mean, when did it happen? We're always so careful. Not always. Um, I, I figure it must have been that night in the hospital. Would you say that was a safe night for you? I thought it was. Obviously, it was a mistake. A mistake? And you regret this? Well, I, I didn't say that. You don't have to. Of course, you don't want to be pregnant now. Well, Rick, to tell you the truth, I, not like this, you know. I, I mean, I just wanted to have more time to think about it, to, to plan for this. Yeah, till the year 2000. Look, I told you why I wanted to wait. Yeah. I know, I've heard it before. Why are you mad? Aren't you mad? Well, yes. Maybe I don't have a right to be, but if I don't tell you this now, I'm going to be too scared to, to say it later, because if it's true, I'm going to be so furious. About a baby. If you planned it. What? If you wanted me to get pregnant. I mean, if that was in the back of your mind that night when you got into bed with me at the hospital. No way. Maybe not consciously, but unconsciously. I mean, you're so into Bab and Sam and babies. If you remember, I told you that we would wait until you were ready. And if you remember, you told me it was safe that night. How could I plan to get you pregnant? I don't know how else it could have happened. I mean, unless there was some other time, I just don't remember. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're accusing me of. Just tell me, okay? Tell me it wasn't in the back of your mind that night or any other night, and I'll believe you. I don't know why you trust my word more than you'll trust me. Please, just tell me. Why do I have to defend myself to you? What kind of person do you think I am? That I would set out to make you pregnant? Do you think that I'm so desperate to be a father that it would force you to have a kid? I don't know what to think anymore. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Every time we make love, there's a possibility of a baby. And yeah. Sometimes when I'm holding you, I think... So we could be making a life here. But to plan it. I resent that. Okay. Okay, you, you say it was an accident, right? Then it was. It was a wonderful accident. I'm gonna have a baby. Surprise. Please don't be sarcastic. I'm not. Come on. Are you going to try to tell me that you're happy about this day because we both know that you're not? Rick, I am! Don't lie to me. I'm not! Rick, this isn't right. This is my first pregnancy. I'm supposed to be full of joy and happiness here. There's a new life inside of me. I don't want it starting like this. I don't want it starting in anger. Isn't that what we are, angry? Well, among other things. Let go and, and be happy. I thought you don't want me to lie to you. I don't. And this is the truth, Rick. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to love this baby. I mean, how could I not? It's our baby. It's, it's just that I'm really mixed up right now, you know? It, it's just not what I expected for myself. We can adjust. I'm going to have to bring in some extra bucks. I am. But I'm also proud and I'm also really excited, Rick, but I'm scared. I mean, how am I going to manage a, a baby and, and a marriage in school, Rick? I'm 19. I'll be there. Oh, you better be. I don't think I can manage this alone. 
know you don't want to. Please don't say that. Ryan, you can do anything you want to do. I've seen you sit up for 36 hours to hand in a report, an article, and then make love to me. You have the energy to do whatever you want to do. So if you don't think that you can cope with this, it's because you don't want to. And if you don't want to, you tell me right now so we can deal with it. And we can make other plans. 